بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم We don't know what state we're going to die. And so we should strive our best to leave a positive and righteous legacy. The Prophet ﷺ said in Sahih Muslim, إِذَا مَاتَ مَرْعِي أَنْ كَتَعَ أَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ صَدَكَ جَارِيًا O عِلْمْ يَنْتَفَعْ بِي O waladin salihan yad'u lahu ruahu muslim in this hadith in sahih muslim the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that if a person dies their deeds are stopped except three continual charity meaning maybe they built something as a trust a foundation or something that continues to do good and they receive reward while they're in the grave or a masjid people continue to pray in the masjid while you're in the grave or you bought Qur'ans and you left it in the masjid the people are reading Qur'ans after you died and you're continuing to get ajr for that or you help build a masjid or what have you the second thing is that you left you did uh, uh, you, you left behind knowledge that the people benefited from. Maybe you wrote books, or maybe you taught in the masjid and you, you had students, or you taught however you taught, and you left behind students and people who benefited from your knowledge, Islamic knowledge, al nafir and the people benefited even after you died. Look at those great imams. Look at Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, Tirmidhi, Imam, uh, Imam Ahmed, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi, Imam Malik, all the great imams. That you can't, especially Bukhari and Muslim and Imam Noah, where you can hardly find a household in the Muslim world amongst the Muslims of Ahlul Sunnah that doesn't contain one of those books. Arba'in and Noah, Imam Noah, or uh, Sahih al Bukhari, or Sahih Muslim. And translated in a variety of languages. Meaning that those great Imams, for the works that they did on preserving the Sunnah, they're receiving Ajr. Just the fact that we're mentioning them. And may Allah bless them with Jannah to Firdaus. Ameen. And the third thing that the Prophet Sallallahu said that you leave behind is leaving behind righteous children. Children that after you die, they supplicate for you and they seek forgiveness for you. Oh Allah, forgive my father. Oh Allah, forgive my mother. Oh Allah, bless him with Jannah to Firdaus. Oh Allah, have mercy upon them. That if you leave behind righteous children that supplicate for you and, 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 and ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala on your behalf that they that they, uh, that is something that will follow you even the grave. And I want to make a, 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 another point, aside from this hadith, that it shows us we want to leave behind good, not a legacy of evil. And the person who leaves behind violence, whether it be extremism and terrorism, whether it be domestic violence, whether it be killing, whether it be slaughtering, serial killers, all of this, all of this is from the way of evil and just think of what you leave behind so if you abuse your spouse what have you left behind what is the legacy you left behind your children your children who witness this abuse if you have children and they witness and they hear their mother being beaten they hear their mother screaming they hear their father cursing what have you what legacy have you left behind when you go into the grave perhaps they will be cursing you perhaps they will be praying against you so the one who oppresses others, they are in a dangerous position. And this is why the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in an authentic hadith. He said, Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi. Ittaqud da'watu mithloom. Fa inna bainaha Fa inna bainahu wa bainaha Oh the Prophet ﷺ said, اتَّقُ الدَّعْوَةُ مِذْلُومُ فَلَيْسَ بَيْنَهَا حِجَابُ وَكَمَا قَالَ النَّبِي صلى الله عليه وسلم لَيْسَ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَهَا حِجَابُ وَكَمَا قَالَ النَّبِي صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet ﷺ said that to fear the supplication of the person who is oppressed because there is no hijab, there is nothing prohibited them from being accepted by Allah, meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the supplication of the person who is oppressed. So if you oppress someone and they supplicate against you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept that. And perhaps Allah will humiliate you 
وَتَنْزِعُ مُلْكُ مِنْ مَنْ تَشَاءُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes the authority from the one whosoever he pleases. And we've seen this. We've seen leaders that were oppressive in this day, very day and age who were taken from their thrones like that, dragged in the street, even one sodomized, a'udhu billah. What a shameful ending. He wants people worshipped him and wanted to be worshipped for whatever good and whatever evil he did but his throne was taken from him like that and he was dragged in the st- streets and killed look at the other one who was hung and it was it's all over YouTube so we're not guaranteed a righteous ending but we pray for one and what we don't want to do is oppress others and we want to leave behind a righteous legacy and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to leave behind righteousness wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam